In this video demonstration, I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can manage your Schoology calendar to keep yourself and your students organized and so that they know what assignments and upcoming events they need to be reminded of. So, for instance, one way we can do this if we are having the students create an assignment. When you create an assignment in Schoology, you generally will pick a due date and that will put it on the calendar. But when you create an assignment, it, the assignment is also expecting something to be submitted. And if nothing is submitted because it's being created outside of Schoology, what's going to happen is they're going to get a notification that something is overdue. So what you can do to bypass that is to create an assignment. And you can see here I have a couple of assignments. This was an assignment I just created. I'm just going to go over here to edit it. So when you create your assignment, you fill out the, you know, the information that you normally would. Um, and in this is, case is not being completed in Schoology, so be specific with your instructions as to where they're going to be completing this. And you also, again, have the options to add additional content to this if you want to, such as uh, worksheets or hyperlinks to help them. Uh, otherwise, you're going to put the rest of the directions in here. You pick your due date. And if you're assigning a point value to this, you can. But if this is something that you're not counting, you can delete this. And then you could change this, the category, to ungraded. Now, the important part, if this is not going to be completed here, and we don't want the students to get notifications that they haven't submitted an assignment, you're going to come down here to where it says Options. And then you're going to click Submissions Enabled which is on by default, and you're going to click it so it's grayed out, and now we can see submissions are disabled. So once the due date passes on this, it will disappear from their upcoming list of things to do, um, and it will, though it will still remain on the calendar as a reminder to the students. So now we can just click Save Changes. So now that assignment is now on my calendar. If we go over to the calendar and we go over to that due date, we can see here we our assignment is listed here so the students can click on it and they will get their additional information about what they need to do another method to managing your calendar if you are going to have um, certain things that are not really assignments but they're reminders such as studying for a test or reminding them of a field trip or reminding them whatever the case may be and it's not technically an assignment what you can do is create an event and there's two different ways you can do this now we can create an event directly within the course um, and when you do it this way you will be uh, creating this event and it will be just for this course. However, if you have an announcement or event that you want to go across a number of your courses all at once, instead of having to create this multiple times, what you can do is go over to the calendar itself in your Schoology toolbar. You can click on the date of this event. So let's say we go to November 6th and we put in the event. So if you want this to appear over a number of days, you can add an end date. And so, for example, if you had a reminder about a, studying for a test over a course of several days, you could put an additional day in here, or you could have this repeat a certain number of times. Put in the title, study for math test on Monday. Any additional information, again, you have the options to insert additional content if you wanted to, a study guide or anything like that that you think might be helpful to the students. Um, down here, uh, what, where it says options, you can turn comments off. This allows the students right now to make comments on your announcement. If you don't want that to be on, you can turn that off. Down here is where it's very important because right now you can see um, down here it's saying which calendar it's going to appear on and right now it's only going to appear on mine so now i have the opportunity to put in all the courses that i want this announcement to actually go to so I, all i have to do is start typing in the name of one of my courses and you can see here i just need to select them so now this announcement will go across a number of courses and i don't have to create this over and over again and then all i have to do is click create 
And now you can see this event shows up here. It shows up three times for me because I right now am viewing all the calendars for all of my courses. Your students will only see it once because they're only enrolled in your course once. And just like when creating an assignment, all they need to do is click on it and they will get additional information. If I had put any other description or attachments, they would have access to that. And this will also appear in their upcoming list when they're in their course that shows them things that are upcoming or that they need to do. So I hope this video was helpful in learning how to manage your Schoology calendar.